okay this uh, video is actually about the calculus how do you understand the calculus very quickly easily okay now the question start with something like what is the largest number in this universe I don't know if you ever watch this uh, Carl Sagan's um, TV program when he explained how many stars in the space he used to say billions of billions and trillions and stuff as a several times billions that's pretty large number isn't it but the smart guy said well i give you the largest number whatever you say the number plus one that's largest sure he can beat any number that you tell him right then another smart guy said well i can beat that whatever the number you give me plus two is the largest number well then who win obviously plus two is larger than plus one so the second smart guy wins right because whatever the number is plus something you know you can tell how large that is it's larger by two than whatever the number is okay this kind of problem happened because you learned so far only real number real number is a rational number and irrational number as you see on the screen okay the this is the ratio irrational number and integer those are all on the number line okay the real number is something um, you say you have to specify the number for example okay it's uh, um, something numbers close to 2 has to be 2.001002 so and so you have to specify the number that's the real number real number pretty much cover all the number you know that you can specify but you haven't learned the kind of number that you cannot specify so that is something like whatever the number you give me plus one well what is it then well I told you whatever the number plus one that's the number is not specific okay so we have a number called infinitesimally small number what are they the number is like something larger than three but it's very close to three it's closer than any number you can think of we write that three plus or number that is very close to negative two it's larger than negative two greater than negative two but it's very close to negative two it's not specific for example the number that is smaller than 4.5 but it's so close to 4.5 you cannot tell the difference okay it's called infinitesimally small number now in the math we write this way 2 plus is something like suppose any is unspecified number goes infinite 2 plus say 1 over 2 to the nth right the, when n goes large then it's become half quarter one eighth so and so it gets smaller and smaller so it's going to be 2 plus something but it's so small that we cannot tell so we write 2 plus wait a minute I can do same thing with a different number how about one third and you know the small number can be one third to the nth or how about 2 plus 1 over n it can do the same thing but which one is the largest well what you do is you subtract 
one from another and bring end to the infinity. Then you see the difference will be zero. Let's think about this one. Two plus half to the nth. Okay. Now suppose we have a wall at the two and rabbit is here at the three. And the rule is he can hop only half of the distance to the wall. Okay? So one hop is going to be half, next hop is going to be quarter, next hop is going to be one eighth, so and so. So this show how the rabbit moves, right? And if rabbit repeat that infinite times, what's happened? Rabbit can never reach to two. Okay? So mathematically, rabbit can never reach to the wall. Okay? But physically, rabbit can reach the wall. Do you know why? What is the difference between mathematically and physically? Okay. Physically, each hop, the time it takes for each hopping gets smaller and smaller. And pretty soon, each hop takes like zero second. And if you add this zero second so many times, still small, the rabbit eventually reach to the wall as time goes, then pass the wall. That's a physical world. But mathematically, we don't think about the time it takes. We just say the rule, rabbit can hop only halfway to the wall. That means rabbit can never reach to the wall. Okay? If rabbit hop two thirds at a the time, then this is going to be the so and so. So, this infinitesimally small number can handle certain problem. Okay? So, um, this is important because this is the key to understand calculus. Now, let's talk about limit. You learned limit in school, but never clear what limit means. Here, it's a very simple definition of limit. You have an infinitesimal number, 2 plus. The limit means, tell me the wall it's getting close to, which is 2. 2 plus is so close to 2. That's what limit means. Okay? So, limit, this is infinitesimally small number. Okay? This, this is small number. This is infinitesimal number. Okay? So, limit uh, n goes to infinity 2 plus something will be 2. Well, if limit negative 3 minus is going to be negative 3. Now, in the math textbook, you used to see this n equals x. You can write this below limit, or you write like that, it doesn't matter, okay? So what you have is infinitesimal number here. And what limit asking is what this infinitesimal number is getting close to, which is the location of wall. In the rabbit example, it's a two, okay? If two plus, or could be 2 minus if rabbit is approaching from negative side. Okay? So, um, negative 3 minus is very close to negative 3, but it's smaller than negative 3. So, you have to say that negative 3 minus is smaller than that. Okay? So, even infinitesimally small number, we can tell which is larger. Okay? So that's original question. I make it the number larger than yours. You tell me the number plus two, which is larger than the number plus one. Okay? 
So the infinitesimally、uh, small number, we don't know. There's no specific number, but we know it's very small. It's so small that it's almost there, but it's not there yet. Okay? This kind of number is, has a great application in the math. What application? You guess right. Calculus. How do we use that? Is it easy? What can we do with the infinitesimal numbers? Okay. So, oops, the spelling error here.、Uh, the 2 plus is larger than 2, that's okay. Negative 3 is smaller than negative 3, that's okay. 2 minus 2,2 uh, 2 plus minus 2 plus. We don't know this because this infinitesimal number here. And this infinitesimal number, you have to look at the details. You can't tell which is larger. 2 plus 3 plus is 5 plus. 2 plus some infinitesimal number plus 3 plus infinitesimally small numbers. You add two infinitesimally small number, it's going to be again infinitesimally small number. So, this is okay. How about 2 plus plus 2 minus? Well, you have to look at the detail because this infinitesimal small number could be larger or smaller than this. So, we can't tell. Right? So, what's good about this infinitesimal numbers? Well, here it is. Suppose you have an infinitesimally close to 4. And minus 4 and infinitesimally close number to 2 minus 2, we take a ratio. What is this ratio? This ratio may be a, fi a finite number. Finite number is like some real number. Okay? So, It's, it could be 3, it could be 5, it could be minus negative 3. You never know, but it can be finite number. If not finite number, 0 is also finite number. It could be infinity. It could be infinity, but most of the time it's produced finite number. So it has some meaning. That is the derivative. Okay? When you say differentiate, That means take a ratio of this kind of number, infinitesimal number minus real number, over infinitesimal number minus real number. Okay. So, when you say, let's subtract the limit from the infinitesimal number, so this is going to be infinitesimally small number. Add them, bunch of them, then it may produce finite number, which is a real number. Okay? This has a meaning, and the meaning can be area or volume, kind of thing. You guess it right. That's the integral. So, what is calculus? Calculus is to study how you do take the ratio. Of infinitesimal number or how to add up the infinitesimally small numbers infinite times. Okay, once you learn this technique, then you're done with calculus and nothing but this. This is a core of calculus, this is a core concept of. Calculus. Calculus. Okay? Core, core concept of calculus. You need to know what the infinitesimal number is to understand the calculus. And now, think about it. In high school, you, you, have you ever learned infinitesimal number? No. They skip that. 
no wonder you get confused about calculus, right? Okay. Please watch next video that explain how we actually do this derivative and integral using infinitesimal number. Okay? Then you get everything so clear, crystal clear about calculus. Thank you.